Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where the end of the school year brings celebrations for great accomplishments and the beginning of new possibilities. The 2017 graduating class at an Achievable Dream High School began a new annual tradition to help students prepare for the world beyond high school. The 64 seniors participated in a commitment ceremony to share their hopes for the future and commit to use the life skills learned through an achievable dream to make their dreams a reality. Each senior, wearing the shirt of the college, trade school, or military branch they will be joining, stood in front of an audience of underclassmen and declared what they planned to study. Each senior also designed a vision board to showcase their dreams and to remind them of what they're striving to accomplish. The staff and administrators at An Achievable Dream praised the hardworking seniors and encouraged them to stay focused as they transition to the next chapters of their lives. Underclassmen also inspired the graduates by giving each senior a handmade card packed with encouraging thoughts. And finally, the class of 2017 signed their certificate of commitment a reminder to show up to class on time and ask for assistance when needed. Those joining the military committed to never accept defeat and always put the mission first. And all students were encouraged to continue to believe in themselves and remember that an achievable dream loves them. <laughs> Third, fourth, and fifth graders at Rich Neck Elementary School prepared for testing season with an energetic SOL prep rally show. Professional school counselor Terry Jones invited performer Richard Adams to help Rich Neck's students ace the test. Better known as the ICANN Man, Adams is a former elementary school counselor and music teacher who blends his talents and humor to present an engaging performance packed with music, fun stories, raps, and rhymes. With students singing along and using hand motions, the ICANN Man shared basic test-taking skills that he's noted while traveling to numerous schools and he motivated the students to do their best on the Virginia SOLs. The powerful combination of repetition, music, and movement was a useful tool to help students remember the important information being presented within a fun and energetic prep rally. <laughs> Before high school seniors walk across the stage to receive their diplomas, they revisit their first steps to encourage younger students to have high expectations. The class of 2017 is ready to take their next steps. Throughout their time in Newport News Public Schools, our students have received a combination of unique learning opportunities, enthusiastic support, and a range of services to help them develop in a positive way. During Senior Spirit Week across all six Newport News high schools, students and staff were given a chance to reflect on the years of growth and glimpse forward at the bright futures to come. A highlight of Senior Spirit Week was the graduation walks at nearby elementary schools. An Achievable Dream seniors went back to where it all started, at An Achievable Dream Academy, where the young dreamers cheered on their older peers. Denby seniors invited kindergarten first and second grades from Nelson to visit Denby. After the seniors paraded past the cheering nights, the Patriots returned the favor to encourage the young Nelson students to keep working hard in school. Denby seniors also visited McIntosh and Richneck Elementary Schools for parades around the schools. Menchville's class visited neighboring Charles Elementary and met with fifth grade students to answer questions about transitioning to middle school and life in high school. The Warwick Raiders visited Saunders for an outdoor parade, handing out Warwick stickers to the elementary students and Woodside seniors visited their neighbors at Greenwood for a school-wide celebration. The graduation walk is a positive experience for all students, giving some seniors a chance to visit the elementary schools they attended and say one last thank you to the talented staff that set them on the course to success. And the powerful image of seniors in their cap and gowns parading by will leave a lasting impression on the elementary students to work hard now so they can graduate with honors in several years. Students across the country have hundreds of reasons to anticipate summer break. 
But one lucky fourth grader at Yates Elementary needs only one reason to spend the summer months at home, his mom. Air Force Staff Sergeant Casey Boland was deployed overseas for five months. When she found out she was going to arrive home early, Staff Sergeant Boland coordinated with Yates Elementary and fourth grade teacher Kim Werthemer to surprise her son during the school day. Mommy! <laughs> Immediately, Neil Elijah ran to his mother for a long overdue embrace. Even though the two had spoken through FaceTime during the deployment, nothing beats a mom's comforting hug. The joyful son made a vow that his mother isn't allowed to leave the house the rest of the summer, which may be one battle this brave sergeant won't be able to win. Thank you for your service, Staff Sergeant Boland. Enjoy R&R with your family. <laughs> During the last three days of school, from June 13th through June 15th, early childhood centers, as well as elementary and middle schools, will dismiss early. And high schools will be on a half-day schedule. The last day of school is on Thursday, June 15th. And the last day for teachers is on Friday, June 16th. <laughs> Newport News Public Schools will be operating on a summer schedule. From June 23rd through August 18th, schools and offices will be closed on Fridays. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at NNPSTV.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching. <laughs>